I've been in the mood to make a video and I've made, I don't know, six or seven in the last day and a half. And they're all um, boring or whatever, boring. There's nothing more frustrating than wanting to make a video and having absolutely nothing to say. But here we are. I was trying to think of old, you know, as Michael called them, war stories. Um, and I was thinking, okay, you know, it's almost summer, summer stories. Um, I went to camp, um, I guess starting in fifth or sixth grade, I think, for a week we would go to camp. Um, I can't exactly remember the first year we went. I want to say maybe fifth grade. doesn't matter. Um, it was Pine Cove in Tyler, Texas. And there were, I don't know, um, maybe eight to ten girls in a cabin. And there were several cabins we were all clustered around. And we were um, divvied up by age groups. So you were in a cabin with other kids your age and, age, and um, it was all fine. So it was all good. Um, but as most of you know, and if you don't, I have anger issues and a little rage. I'm nice as pie, really, until I'm provoked. And even then, I will take it and take it until I'm not sure what the tipping point is, but yeah. I, probably I shouldn't take it and take it and take it until I can't take it anymore because that's when I explode. And I remember, um, it was just a week. It's not like it was a long camp or anything. But at some point in the camp, the, one of the girls was, uh, I don't know, really just a bitch. And um, she was doing something. I don't remember the circumstances now, but I just remember her being a total... Um, ass and she was getting all up in my face about something that I didn't even do it was I, I think there was she thought a couple of us had done something to her stuff or something I don't know I, I didn't know anything about it but she was all up in my face uh, accusing me and um, I mean like this close up to my face screaming at me and everything and all the we were all in the cabin together it was I, I don't know at some point before dinner or after dinner we were all like in the cabin together and and this was all going on the other girls were just sort of staring um and i i just hit my limit and i remember i pushed her back to get away from me because she was like all up in my face and yeah that wasn't good and i just uh, I don't think I was cursing involved, but there was a lot of yelling on my part. Um, like someone possessed, really, because I know she was kind of yelling, but uh, I don't have like a little high-pitched, uh, you know, angry. Mine is like the depths of hell, kind of, I'm possessed by something other um, screaming and um yeah that startled everyone in the cabin because i i don't think i said five words the whole time i was there up until that point um you know i was i was very shy and um i didn't know anybody in the cabin so i was you know it takes me a while to warm up to people and so i hadn't really talked to anybody and then i just you know unleashed this verbal assault on this girl and and, you know, one of the other girls runs and tells the counselor. And, and I got in trouble for yelling at this girl, probably pushing her too. But um, then I became the pariah of my cabin. It was, it was good times for the rest of the week. Yeah. And, of course, I had to get a little talking to from the counselor and blah, blah, blah. And it didn't matter what I said that, you know, I didn't start the fight, but I'll finish it. I won't ever start a fight. Yeah, if you want to fight me, I'm not going to initiate it, but I will finish it. Um, yeah, so that's a, a camp story, and I, uh, I wish I could remember the circumstances of the fight. I just remember, then I was all embarrassed after having exploded in this anger, and of course, getting in trouble didn't help. 
Um, and then none of the girls really talking to me for the rest of the week was also bad. But uh, there was, I think, one or two that agreed that, you know, I didn't start it and kind of felt bad. But, you know, nobody wanted to, um, you know, say anything in front of anybody else because the girl that was yelling at me was like, you know, queen of the cabin. And um, nobody was going to say, hey, because they didn't want to get the brunt of her either. So it was it was fun. I don't have a, a lot of memorable stories from camp, but that's, that's one of them. The other one was, uh, I got bit by some ants one year and my foot swelled up to the size of a, I don't know, small Volkswagen. It was just huge. And, um, I couldn't wear my shoes and it was at the beginning of the week and they really wouldn't let me do anything because and I couldn't really walk on it. And it, they, they started giving me all this medication to get the swelling down, which conked me out. I mean, Benadryl just knocks me out. So I, I slept through that camp. I don't remember m- much of it. I just remember, you know, some of the girls would come and check on me and my foot was you know, big. And I kept saying it's, it's going to just explode at some point because they were like, it's getting bigger. I'm like, I know. Um, and of course, the last day of camp, it starts to go down. But that's just how that works. I don't know why I kept going back. But we did. Um, I guess I went there, I don't know, five or so years. To me, the best thing about camp was Zots. I never could find Zots, the candy, anywhere else except for Pine Cove. So that was that was the best thing, and I would stock up on those. My parents would give us $20.00. And it goes into, um, they had a little store, I guess, commissary or whatever. And you could buy a t-shirt or a hat or whatever. And then they sold candy and, and other things, um, that you could buy there. And, you know, back then $20 could get you a lot. Cause you could get a shirt and have plenty of candy for the week, which I always wanted to get a shirt. So, uh, I would stock up on the, the candy, the Zots, the grape was my favorite. And then there was one dick hole who was working there I maybe he was trying to be funny I didn't find it amusing at all uh, Reese's is my favorite candy oh whatever um but when I was a kid I would say Reese's which isn't too odd considering they're Reese's I guess he thought I was saying it weird I'm not sure I don't remember saying it strangely but he's like how do you say it you can't buy it if you don't say it right and I wanted to punch him in the throat, but it was kind of a Christian camp, so that was frowned upon. And and I just was like, okay, Reese's, whatever, give me one. Yeah, I didn't like that guy very much. I don't know if you can hear the squirrels. My cat's out there, the squirrel's out there. They're having a conversation, so I'm going to go check on them. Bye.